it's Edie and I am here with the Art of Healthy Living bonus freebie. Um, each week as we work through the Art of Healthy Living we're going to be delving deep into our feelings surrounding our weight. Everybody has emotional connections to their weight. Um, whether it's loss or gained, it doesn't matter. We all feel very strongly about our weight. We all have our own fears and you know just just the emotional attachment to our weight we all have our weight for a reason very very rarely is being overweight ever just about eating too much there's usually a reason behind why you're eating too much or why you eat when you eat and so the art of healthy living is going to kind of start delving into those emotions I mean, it's, I'm going to teach you, obviously, better choices, but if you don't understand kind of where it comes from, even though you know what healthy choices to make, you may not want to make them. And I say want because obviously you do want to make the changes, but there's also going to be a part of you that doesn't want to make those changes. So through this e-course, we're going to be talking about those emotions and the um, emotional attachment that we have to being overweight and, and the weight, how it protects us for um, you know, what, what we're getting out of being overweight. So I do want to let you know that every single week of this course has the potential to trigger extremely strong mental, emotional, as well as physical um, responses. You may notice that you are um, resistant, you may notice that you get angry, you may notice um, depression symptoms, you know, feeling sad or weepy, things like that. Um, you may also notice that you feel very strongly in a positive way, that you feel empowered, that you feel strong, that you feel like you can conquer the world. All of these things are absolutely normal, um, So, but I want you to be prepared. I want you to know that that these are things that are going to come up. These emotional feelings are going to be triggered and I, I want you to be prepared for that. So I'd like you to have a support group or a support system at home or at the website wholeheartfitness.ning.com. I am available for you. Feel free to message me if you need support. Um, if you're not getting the kind of support that you need, come to the website. The girls, the girls are phenomenal over there. We've got such a budding little family over there um, and I like I said I'm available for you anytime you need anything just message me and I will do my best to help you work through whatever is going on it's also a pretty good idea to um, have a there if you're working with a therapist to have your therapist involved um, because a lot of times emotional triggers will lead you know to something deeper you may think it's just oh I'm eating because I'm angry but once you start getting into these emotions a little bit more, you'll find out that it's deeper than just because you're angry. So if you have a therapist, um, advise, I advise you to get your therapist involved. Let her, him or her know what you're going through with this e-course and um, let them know kind of what you discover along your journey. So this week's activity, both there's two activities. So both of this week's activities are designed to help you tap into some of those feelings. Um, I want you to begin to recognize them, um, express them, and learn to work through some of these emotions that are going to come up for you. I want you to be able to learn to face these feelings, and I want you to go as deep as you possibly can, but I also want you to be prepared and protected as well. So this week's activities are designed to help you face some of those emotions and um, start to recognize them and express them. Um, I really want you to take some time and think about these prompts before you start the writing. Take, you know, take in the information, think about, you know, what you're going to be writing about. Think about it for a few hours or a day and then do your writing uh, um, prompt around, around these emotions. Because I don't want you to just read this prompt and say, okay, and, and just go sit while you're watching TV and jot it down really quickly because that's not going to get to the deep rooted emotions and that's kind of what I want you to get to. This course gets deep and it gets deep very quickly. Um, so we're going to start out with week one deep. 
<laughs> this is just a bonus freebie and we're already deep. But I, I really want you to just take some time, think about what I'm asking you here and then begin your writing process. So part one is going to be about releasing the negative. Everybody, like I said, has those deep-rooted personal thoughts and feelings and attachments to being overweight. It doesn't matter if it's a weight loss or a weight gain. We feel extremely strongly about our weight either way. And so I want you to think about where you're at right now. I want you to think about your weight, but not only your weight, I also want you to think about your activity level and your overall health. Think about exactly where you are in this moment with your weight, with your lifestyle. And I want you to think about how you feel about each individual component of that. Think about um, think about the weight, the number, the, the clothing size, however it is that you see your weight. Okay? Think about that. But then you know, go to a different compartment of it and think about your activity level. And then, again, think about your overall health, your overall well-being. Um, and think, do you have mostly positive or mostly negative thoughts in each one of those categories? Or do you fall somewhere in the middle? Do you have, like, mixed emotions? You know, well, I'm okay with my overall physical activity level, but I'm still not happy with my weight. Or my health is okay right now, but I'm not happy with how active I am. You know, think about are you strictly defining each thing as negative or positive, or do you fall somewhere in the middle? Give it some, some deep thought. And then I want you to do some free writing. Now, a lot of people know what free writing is, but for those of you who don't, free writing is stream of consciousness writing. So for our particular activity, I want you to set a timer for 15 minutes and then let those emotions pour out onto the page. Don't think about it. Don't worry about the spelling or the punctuation or the grammar. Just, just let it flow. Don't censor yourself. Don't edit anything. Um, just get it all out. Let all those raw emotions just flow out of your body and onto that page. Um, just once you get it onto that page, leave it there, keep writing, and keep going on for 15 minutes. Once that 15 minutes is up, if you need to go longer, go longer. Just purge. This is an emotional purge. So get it all out. All of that negativity, get it out. And then I want you to just release it. Take a break. Walk away from your writing. You've purged it, you've released it, it's on that page, you can let it go. And that's what I want you to do, just, just take a breather. And if you need to, take an entire day, walk away from it, and, and let it go. And then I want you to um, take a day, and then come back and do part two. Because part two is about embracing the positive. Part one, we're releasing the negative, we're getting rid of all that negativity. And part two, we're going to embrace the positive. We want to bring positivity back in. And so um, I want you to go back and think about all of the positive changes that you're making. You're taking this e-course. You're making healthier eating habits. You're exercising more. All of these positive changes that you're making in your life. How do you feel about these changes? How do you feel about the events taking place in your life right now. You're making all of these positive changes. Do you feel empowered? Um, do you feel proud of yourself? What are the emotions that come up for you for this? Um, how do you see these changes affecting your future? Do you see yourself running you know, a 10K in six months? Do you see yourself running a triathlon? Do you see a longer, healthier life? Do you see you watching your grandkids grow up, what do you see in your future from making these positive changes? And then, why do you feel this way about these changes? Is it because it's something you've never done before? Um, you know, just, you know that this time is going to be different, you, you know, what, whatever feelings come up for you, all these positive feelings, write all of that down. And, again, this is going to be a free writing. So I want you to take 15 minutes, set a timer, 
free right. Just let those emotions pour out. All of this positivity, all of these positive things that you're feeling right now, pour it out onto the page. And if you can't do it on two separate pieces of paper, do your negative thoughts on one page and do your positive thoughts on a second page. You can even create a ritual before you begin your free writing process, um, before you begin any prompts that I may give you. You know, light a candle, take a bath, um, take a few deep breaths, and just let your mind and heart open up to whatever emotions come to the surface for you. And just just open yourself up. So now that you have your two pages of free writing, if you'd like you can create an art journal page using the two pages. Um, you can take that first page, that negativity page, you can rip it up, you can burn it, you can use it as collage, you can paste it onto a page and then completely gesso it out. You can paste it down and completely, you know, collage over the top of it, whatever works for you. So feel free to share your pages if you like. Um, again, this is about letting your emotions out. It's not about creating the most beautiful masterpiece in the world. You will create beautiful pages, but sometimes you won't, and that's okay too. So that's it. That is the Art of Healthy Living bonus freebie. And take your time, work through this. You know, just let those emotions out and then work your way through them. Um, work your way through that art journal page and release that negativity and embrace the positivity because you are making positive changes and you are making a change for the better. And I'll see you next time. Bye.